I've got a problem. Jeez. We've got five sponsors that want us to check out their stuff right now. Okay, is it cool? They've got a robot vacuum that has an arm on it, picks up your dirty socks and cleans under it. All right, let's start with that. You know what sucks? Vacuums. Specifically, your robot vacuum. They always miss cleaning spots because they gotta navigate socks or other debris. Well, no more. Roborock introduced their new top of the line Z70, a robot with an arm growing out of its head. And no, I'm not kidding. Using a foldable five axis robotic arm, the Sarah Z70 can pick up and move objects weighing up to 300 grams to clean underneath them or even put them away. So no longer shall you be defeated by a mere sock. And it manages to pack this arm into an ultra thin sub eight centimeter tall form factor. Oh, and don't think they got rid of any other functions in order to add the arm. It still vacuums with up to 22,000 pascals of suction, with the mops and the front wheel being height adjustable to help it get over transitions. If you feel like a robot arm is a bit overkill for you, you can get all their other flagship features in the Seros 10 and 10R. The 10 is the upgraded version of the well-received S8 Max V Ultra, bringing all of those great features to the next level in their slimmest chassis yet. The entire lineup shares the same form factor and takes advantage of Roborock's Starsight Autonomous System 2.0, which uses 3D time of flight sensors and cameras to identify small objects and navigate around your home. It also has a liftable chassis to help it navigate transitions and thresholds. And thanks to constant improvements to its algorithms, Roborock vacuums are able to dynamically adjust to changes in your furniture and room layout, and will even optimize cleaning strategies over time to improve efficiency. So it can learn to prioritize your kitchen or your mudroom, and maybe leave that empty guest bedroom for another day. The docking station, meanwhile, will drain, refill, and clean the wet and dry tanks, and dry the mops at up to 90 degrees Celsius to help kill bacteria or it'll even remove the mops entirely when they're not needed. And they claim that their Roborock Duo Divide Anti-Tangle technology will help reduce annoying maintenance. As for the folks who aren't ready to bow down to our robot overlords just yet, well, you can check out the Morph series of wet-dry stick vacuums. These are great for those of you who have a busy kitchen and don't want to deal with mopping up the spill, then vacuuming the floor, then mopping again. I'm pressing the wrong button. That's why it's not working. Just pull out the Roborock F25 series and you can get the whole thing dealt with in one go. Na -na 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 -na. It can easily reach underneath furniture without giving up suction power and it can be docked for quick drying and cleaning before your next mess. There's no word on pricing yet for any of this, but the Saros 10 and 10R should be coming soon after CES with the Z70 coming later in 2025. Now all they need to do is figure out how to make them climb stairs like this pool cleaner from Aper. Just a couple of years ago, Aper launched the first wireless pool cleaner. That is, assuming you don't count a human, which is more like 315,000 years ago. But I mean, come on, could your human pool cleaner suck 8,500 gallons per minute? Not without a bunch of whining, I bet. Thankfully, Aper Scuba X1 Pro Max doesn't use its intelligence to complain, but instead uses 40 sensors to map your pool, no matter how strangely shaped it is, and uses adaptive pathing to ensure 100% coverage of the bottom, walls, water line, and surface. It can even use its ultrasonic sensors to avoid things that aren't debris, like your pool toys. This nimbleness is partly thanks to its thrust vector control, like you'd find in a VTOL that helps it manipulate the direction of thrust. Okay, they're probably stretching the definition a little bit, but these motors should allow the robot to climb stairs, avoid inlets and ladders, and even save itself from a fall from an elevated platform. And even with industry-leading suction and quad brushes, this robot can run for up to 10 hours on the surface of the pool and up to five hours in the bottom. But what if your robot glitches out? Well, using their HydroHub Pro accessory, which includes water quality testing, you can communicate with your bot even when it's underwater, allowing you to monitor its progress, see a map of your pool, change modes, or even recall the robot to the surface. Once you throw it out, you just chuck it on the optional wireless caddy to wirelessly charge, and then cart it over to the shed. We've got a coupon code down below that'll get you $200 off your purchase. That's a lot of savings for our next product. Jackery has spent well over a decade making portable power stations that are trusted by thousands. We even use a Jackery power station as our backup power for the WAN show, and your guys are not gonna believe what they've released now. 
or maybe you will. It's a power station, but it's a next level power station. The Jackery 5000 Plus is designed to be a reliable whole home power solution, including acting as a battery backup and a solar generator. Out of the box, it comes with 5,000 watt hours of capacity, but each unit can be expanded to up to 30,000 watt hours with 7,200 watts of AC output. And you double your units, you double your fun, meaning you can run most of the appliances in an average home. Sorry, I gotta put this down. Thanks to its 20 millisecond transfer time, if you integrate a 5000 plus with a Jackery smart transfer switch, you might not even notice that the power has gone out until you spot the notification on your phone. And once the power's back on, the battery will recharge in just two hours, either via solar or AC. But wait, I thought most Jackeries come with like those handy portable solar panels. How are these gonna charge it that fast? They're not. That's where these come in. So putting solar panels on your roof is nothing new, but the cool part about these is they don't have to look ugly. Jackery created the first ever curved solar roof tiles that are designed to look just like terracotta roof tiles. The tiles come with a 30 year warranty and are built to withstand extreme temperatures with a boasted real world cell conversion efficiency of 25%. Now, obviously you wouldn't need an entire photovoltaic roof just for the Jackery 5000 plus, but if you wanted to build a bigger system for your entire home, well, that's a completely different story. That's where Jackery's upcoming home power energy system comes in. It has everything you need to scale a system like that up safely with a total system capacity of 50 amps of continuous backup power and up to 123.2 thousand watt hours per inverter. The home power hub acts as a brain for the system, providing insights into your energy habits and helping you optimize your utilization and lower your costs. Man, this would have been a lot more elegant than what I did for my house. Hey, we gotta talk about Shox. What do you mean Shox? No, they build safe products. No, Shox headphones. Oh. Shox built their brand on bone conducting headphones that vibrate the bones in your skull to let you hear sound without blocking out the rest of the world, which is super cool, but comes with trade-offs to audio quality. Now, one solution to great personal audio is IEMs, which go right into the ear canal and form a tight seal for high performance bass, but not everyone wants to jam something into their ear canal. That's where the new Open Fit 2 comes in. They're an open style earphone, but with a big twist. Shox has implemented a massive 21 millimeter by 11 millimeter rectangular driver in the Open Fit 2 that is fully dedicated to delivering performance at the low end with a separate high frequency driver for the details. The ear hooks are made of a soft silicone material and use a nitinol spring for a secure and comfortable fit. They have both touch controls and physical buttons, so you don't need to reach for your phone to take calls. And the battery life is a major highlight, with Shox boasting up to 11 hours of listening in one go, and up to 48 hours total using the included charging case. And if you somehow do manage to run them dry, just 10 minutes in the case should give you two hours of listening. Speaking of dry, the Shox Open Fit 2s don't need to stay dry. They're rated IP55 water and dust resistant, meaning that even sweaty boys can wear them to the gym without worrying. Minus, we gotta go. We gotta go right now. Let's go. Next oh, we're booth. going to the next booth. 3D printing continues to be a rapidly growing field with innovation at the high end and the low end, and Creality has two exciting options, whether you're an enthusiast or you're just dipping your toes into printing in the third dimension. Their flagship K2 Plus brings features from far more expensive printers into the realm of Oh, maybe I could actually buy that. And here's some of the key ones for enthusiasts. First up is a closed loop step servo motor system that can accelerate at a whopping 30,000 millimeters per second squared. That means lightning fast prints and the system won't lose its place during a crash or a minor tracking error. And it's quiet. At around 45 decibels, it's great for if your 3D printer lives near flesh printed humans. And that speed can be put to good use in its large 350 millimeters cubed build volume inside its enclosed chamber. The best part? Well, as long as you don't open it up like me, the build chamber can be actively heated to up to 60 degrees Celsius, enabling the use of all sorts of engineering ready filaments, which, oh, sounds like a bit of a safety concern, doesn't it? You know, with all the fumes? Well, great news. This high-tech chamber features an activated carbon air filter. But wait, there's more. 
Their AI-assisted camera system allows for high-quality remote monitoring and time-lapse capture, as well as error and print quality detection. Sick! And with their filament system, you can easily upgrade your setup to print in up to 16 colors. Perfect for any project that could benefit from a splash of flavor or from rapid trialing of various filament types. Sounds fancy, right? But here's the best part. The filament system can also be used on the entry-level Creality High Combo. That means that unlike most entry-level 3D printers, you don't have to worry about being locked out of all the high-end features and those cool complex prints. It features easy assembly, an extruder with a clog-free and integrated design, as well as easy hands-off calibration, and with the same AI-assisted camera setup, the complexity of entering this hobby has never been lower. Okay, it doesn't have the enclosure or the same level of acceleration as the K2+, Plus, but the max print speed is just 100 millimeters per second slower than the flagship, making it a pretty compelling option. Creality does more than just 3D printing, though. They also do 3D scanning, and they're showing off their Raptor series of industrial scanners. These are metrology-grade industrial scanners that are ideal for medium to large-scale jobs that require volumetric accuracy, even on complex parts, like if you needed to replicate a car part, which you can see she's using the high-efficiency scanning mode to do in real time right behind me. So if I put my hand in here, is it going to mess it up? Yeah, you see it already messed a little bit. Not that bad, though, and that's because I don't have dots all over my hand. If you want to scan a human, you might prefer the CR Scan Otter. This is lots of fun for scanning everyday objects around the home and even things like humans. I'm not sure if I'm holding still enough, but uh, hey, it's mostly for the effect anyway. H how's it doing down there? Does it look good? That's crazy. That took like 30 seconds. You can even read my badge. That's crazy. And see the in-progress scan on the screen. <laughs> Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not check out our other videos from CES?